Guys, welcome back to Chop Chop Chewy. Today we have some leftover focaccia and we're gonna make some amazing, amazing croutons. And it's so simple and easy. I mean, we're paying five bucks for a tiny little bag of these, you know, at the grocery store. It's ridiculous. Make them home. They're better, they're cheaper. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Okay, so basically all I wanna do is I'm gonna cut this up in, you know, crouton size. Everyone's pretty familiar with that size. It's real simple to do. Just get yourself a really nice sharp butter knife uh, or bread knife as it were, and start cutting. You want them to be kind of similar in size. That way they cook properly and they brown evenly. So, you know, if they're not perfect, it's no big deal, right? So just try your best to make them fairly uniform. All right. And then from there, they're going right in a bowl. Ah, ah, ah. What's brilliant about it, you can make as many as you want, as few as you want, they'll last for several days. So I'm gonna continue cutting up this focaccia. And, uh, oh, by the way, check out the next video because I'm gonna show you how I made this brilliant focaccia. Man, it is delicious. But that's just an aside. All right, I'll get these cut up and we'll get right to, the, uh, right to finishing them. All right, easy enough, right? We're just making tiny little cubes of bread. And this just happens to be focaccia, uh, whatever bread you have going, laying around that you don't want to use up or you have extra of or it's about to go bad, you can extend that life and add it uh, you know, to your salads or whatever by doing this. So here's my little bowl of bread. Um, now what's interesting about this is focaccia, it has a high uh, olive oil content. So I don't want to go nuts with the olive oil or the butter, but I really do love the flavor that it adds, uh, you know, the richness of the butter. And frankly, they just taste better. Obviously anything with fat, salt, acid, it's one of the cores. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add just a little bit of butter and not go nuts with it, but get plenty so that we can cover everything. Get all those milk solids in there too. Now you don't want these soaking wet. So I'm just gonna toss them around a little bit. And had I used a glass bowl, you'd be able to see that, but <laughs> I'm just working on getting them covered. All right. Nice and easy. All right. And then just a little hand here, a little hand on my tray. Back in the bowl. All right. Now, we're going to season them up a little bit. I'm going to start with it in the bowl, and then I'm going to follow up the seasoning on the tray itself. Uh, what are we doing first? A little bit of garlic. Uh, powdered garlic or minced garlic, whatever you want to throw in there is fine. But I like to add a little bit of garlic, even though I'm going to use an additional flavor. What is this called? seasoning blend all right so for this seasoning blend um it's not really heavily salted or salt heavy i guess as it were but it has just a nice mixture and i used to use lowry's all the time and it works really well but frankly i don't have any so this is what i'm using today all right give that a little shake shake i'm gonna come back in give it just a little bit of color with some paprika just a touch because you don't want to go nuts with this Especially if you have, what, the smoked paprika it brings in a little bit of heat. I don't know if you want that. If you like it, do it. If not, well, it's good. It's cool, too. You know, guess what? They're your croutons. Make it whatever you want. Finally, I'm going to follow it up with a little bit of one of my favorites, which is gunpowder spice. I like the heat that it brings, the flavor that it brings, and uh, it's just really, really a great all-around spice. I mean, shoot, I use it on everything. Chicken, croutons, popcorn. I eat it raw sometimes. Just throw it in my hand and go to town. All right, look at that, look at that, look at that. Watch, this is so easy. Dump it right on your tray. Move it around a little bit. Man, what could be easier, right? If you see one that, a little, that are a little dry, just give them a little love. Uh, just like that. Perfect. Man, medium salt guy. 350. The oven's preheated. I'm going to bring them out in probably, I don't know, four or five minutes. Maybe I flip them around. Maybe I toss them around, throw them back in for another couple minutes. They're going to be good as gold. So I'll see you after we pull them out. All right. All right. I just pulled them out of the oven and now it's time to flip. I don't know about flip. Just toss them around a little bit. All right. Whatever side ends up, ends up, and whichever side ends down, ends down, but they are getting nice and golden brown. Check that out. Ramsey, well, it, it'll, it'll get cleaned up. Back in the oven. All right, 
simple as that. I don't know how long that took. Probably, what, eight minutes maybe? I'm not sure. But I know that these are ooh, hot and delicious and crunchy and salty and spicy and ready for my salad. Or whatever else you want to use with. Now, these will go in soup. They'll go in soup. They'll go in tomato soup. They'll go in gazpacho. They'll go in ice cream. I'm telling you, make it your own. As a disclaimer, not sure about the ice cream, but I know they're pretty damn good. Chomp, chomp, chewy. Check us out. See you in the next.